JP Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon has been a reluctant Bitcoin basher. He called the cryptocurrency a fraud back in September of last year, but he later said he regretted his choice of words. A year ago, he said he wasn't going to talk about Bitcoin anymore, but then yesterday at an Axios conference in LA, he was asked about changing his mind on Bitcoin. I never changed what I said. I just regret having said it. <laughs> I, I didn't want to be the spokesman against Bitcoin. I don't really get that's the point, okay? And blockchain is real, it's technology, but Bitcoin is not the same as a fiat currency. All right, he speaks his mind, he does very openly. A side note for you, today is the 10th anniversary of Bitcoin. Wow, it's only been 10 years. Um, looks like right now, $6,258. Did we bleep out damn? No. Okay, you said I don't give a damn? About no, I don't give a okay. something else. I think if he thinks it's still it? safe yeah, to ignore it, I think it's fine. But but he's the dog. But I think he's talking about blockchain, and I think that's what most companies are talking still, about. I think that's so. the safe, like, well, sure, right. if this thing becomes a thing, we have to be involved, but I don't know. Right. Use the dog. You do it. The Shih Tzu? Yes. Mm. Thank there you. you. Okay. You're welcome. Jamie Dimon uh -oh, Mike's also... Okay. You're uncomfortable, wait. Mike? Mike's okay. You're, no. you're, okay. All right. Well, Jamie Dimon also weighed in on the trade war with China that he has suggested should be called just a trade skirmish. Yeah. A trade war is that people stop trading with each other and that they immediately change supply lines. Uh, and that will, that will rattle the global economy. There's no question about that. That is a lot of movement around the world. Uh, then you can have foreign part, trading partners make taking actions. And there I think you basically can offset, uh, you know, you, you, it could cause a recession. Uh, Jimmy, you... But it's not a war, okay? A war is people, you know, pick up guns and people die. All right, that's an interesting point, but what he described as a trade war is something that could be down the road if you actually see people picking up cha supply chains and moving things. And I think, Surat, that's probably the bigger market concern at this point is we thought we'd have a resolution at this point, we don't. Right, it was the uncertainty that kind of people baked and said, well, you know, we, we resolved the NAFTA issues. Mm -hmm. So the China issue, and I think what people are gonna be really focused on is after elections. Are we gonna get some type of resolution there? I, I just read this week that Mexico says it won't sign the new NAFTA unless we raise our tariffs on steel um, and, and aluminum and that short of that they're not coming to the table to sign it. Is there a chance that the new NAFTA blows up? I think there's always a chance there but I think the market's really more focused on what's going on with China at this point because that's really as we've talked about manufacturing we've talked about companies talking about uncertainty about hiring and how are we going to go back with intellectual property I think that's where the technology companies are also looking to see and if China decides to do something then that's really going to affect, quote, the S&P earnings that we're looking at.